Welcome back, folks. Today we're going to be talking spirit levels. It's not going to be exciting. It's not going to be dramatic. It's just that the issue with spirit levels is when you're out there looking for a spirit level, you're thinking about buying a spirit level, there's just entirely too much choice. Uh, there's a lot on the market. There's tons of different brands. There's tons of different designs. The, the list is long as my arm. What we're going to do is just narrow it in a little bit um, so you can look at some critical things that I think are essential uh, when purchasing a spirit level. Things you should look for so that when you do buy a spirit level, you buy it for life and you never have to get another one. So let's look at a couple of designs. There's two main designs out there on the market. One is a box level design, so it's uh, basically a, a rectangle. And um, this, the second design is the I-beam design. And these are the two best ones. And I would also recommend buying uh, an aluminium one or an aluminum one for my North American friends. I would not, uh, I, would, I would avoid plastic. And the other thing I would consider is weight. You know, it's a little bit heavy or heavier. Pick, pick them up, check them out. Um, and uh, weight is a big consideration factor. Um, brand is also a, a really good one. Um, at the end of the day, there are just endless, endless brands of spirit levels out there. For, for every company that makes a tool, chances are they make a spirit level. Personally, I'm a Stanley Fat Max man, okay? I think they make the best spirit levels on the market. I don't think you can buy any better. Um, another thing to look for uh, with respect to spirit levels is handles. They don't necessarily have to have a polymer inset, but it's nice to have a handle on a spirit level so you can manipulate it, move it around, um, depending on what you're actually checking the level of. Um, I-beam designs. These are my personal favorite, and I'll explain uh, at the end of the video why. But the next feature I think is really, really important is the actual uh, spirit, the bubble itself. Okay, you want to look for a spirit level that has a housing around it that also has uh, screws. Doesn't matter what the polymer or plastic is. Doesn't matter what type of screws they are. It just matters that they have one, because that means that this particular component can be easily separated from the uh, the physical structure and then you can take out the level itself and replace it. This particular level is rather expensive. Um, I think it's around 50 pounds UK, uh, which depending on where you buy it in North America, it could be close to 80 to $100 uh, just for this particular spirit level. Um, that's a lot of money for a spirit level, but if you buy quality, you buy once. And the other factor is that you can take this out. These, these the, bubble, the bubbles themselves are just a couple of bucks, and you could probably get aftermarket ones. You don't necessarily have to buy the same ones, it just matters that they fit. So because it has the housing on the outside, you can take that off, replace that if it's broken, and then your spirit level is still good. And the final reason that I particularly like the Stanley Fat Max uh, line of spirit levels is the robustness. They're amazing. And the I-beam design, just to prove it, it easily whoa, supports my weight. Fantastic. And yeah, that's about, that about highlights everything. You just want to look for quality and robustness, handles, weight, and most importantly, that the housing on the outside is replaceable. So you just pop it out and replace the same as you would batteries. That's what you're looking to do. And anyway, so when you're out there shopping for a spirit level, I hope I've given you some, some insights there. But yes, Stanley Fat Max, you can't go wrong. It's a lifetime level. Thanks for watching.